left on the clock. God. You know, I'm starting to feel like I'm starting to feel like I'm like in the upper half of the players in this game because the other half basically don't know how to play the game. And I'm not in the lower half because every time it ends up being me the only one that can do anything. So I'm either here trying to score and nobody's defending, or I'm here defending and nothing else happens. I'm just constantly defending against people that know how to play. And I eventually just get scored on. I feel like that's all this has come down to at this point. I literally don't stand a chance. I'm not that good. I'm not good enough for all these other people who are just as good as me and then the one or two guys who can't help because they don't know how to play the game. There's nothing wrong with not knowing how to play the game, but why do I have all the people that don't know how to play the game? Or that can't rotate. Every time it's the dang people that don't want to rotate, have a concept of a game plan, I feel like I end up doing all the work, it's like, why? I can't matchmaking fix this. Surely there is some reason this is happening. I don't think I'm that good to carry those kinds of people does not make sense to me whatsoever 
Maybe if everybody else had no idea, then we get really stupid games. But not when my teammates can't hit a ball. Like, come on. When I was a rookie, I did that kind of stuff too. Like, why am I paired with rookies? It's not even fair. At this point, I should not have to be paired up with those kinds of players, unless the enemy team has them too, which I highly doubt. They seem to rotate and play just fine. They can all hit that ball. They don't really go in the air for it. A lot. So they're not like ultra good players either, but they're like equivalent to me. So it's like three, three of me versus one of me. Maybe one and a half. I haven't seen either of those two do anything cool or defend. For that matter. I just don't get this at all. How, how does this even work? Holy cow. Like, I'm still trying to understand. <laughs> Why? They literally follow the ball and have no idea where to go. They don't go to the net. They, they just literally keep trying for this ball. Can't jump for it, can't do anything. Oh my god. I'm only one guy. Against three dudes that know how to play. And you know what sucks? I've been getting more and more matches like this. It's like, I'm not that good. I can't just carry like that. It's not how it works. It's not even fair. The only time I score a ton is when the enemy team has no idea what they're doing either. When the enemy team has a semblance of how to play, I can't do anything. So again, I'm not that great. Please, get out of here. Like, I, I can't be the only guy that knows about how to rotate, how to do some aerials, how to shoot the dang ball, how to not miss the ball, how to bait players and how to beat players, like, when they're coming towards you, it's obvious when they're gonna go for it and when they're not going for it, you know? Please, no, we're not doing this. Oh boy. Okay, at least you blocked it. Oops. Well, I spoke too soon. I was trying to give them some praise. I was trying to find something good about my teammates. I almost was able to. And then that happened. Well, you know. It's just how it goes. I almost was able to give some praise to my teammates. Almost. Why is nobody at the net? Defense is non-existent on our team. And yeah, these kind of matches keep happening. It's totally like one-sided every time. This is not cool. If I keep getting matches like this, I might as well just not play. Like. Competitive is way more balanced, I think. Because naturally it's competitive, but like, why... Why is the matchmaking on non-competitive matches so screw up, screwed up then? I don't 
don't get it. Maybe it just doesn't care. I'd rather play on competitive if I get at least a decent match. Just chilling in our bowls. Win for that. Double committed. Oh my goodness. Luckily my teammate is pretty predictable, so I can figure out what play he's doing and can react off of it. So that's that's a good thing. We want our teammate to be pretty predictable, so we can make the correct moves based off of them.
That's bad. Should have just left it. They were in no position to score. If I can't get good touch, I'm just like, back off. I can't, if I can't hit that ball semi-hard in those kinds of situations, then something's wrong. At least competitive matches are not awful. I might just 100% of the time play competitive matches because of the quality of matches I've been getting this game. For non competitive, it's just terrible. I will not stand for terrible matchmaking matches. my jump. So my question is why that way? Like that would that was so awkward. I would not have wanted it to go that way in any scenario, no matter what kind of scenario it is.
Oh no! Oh, what? What? Oh, dude. That was actually kind of crazy. Oh my god, I power slid too early. Guys got moved. He did, he did that a similar thing to me earlier too, so yeah, that guy's good. Both missed. gonna leave it. So I was already too dang close to it. Also, wow. players. They're indeed better than me, at least. See, here I can't complain about my teammate, because my teammate has common sense. Like, that's fine. That's all I need. Sorry, the game? Sorry, the super card game? Oh... I should've went for that, like, I should've went hard for that, I did not commit. I really should've... Go for it. A little too fast, I think. Should have slowed that ball down. It's fine. They hit it really fast too. Take it. Mm-hmm. 
crap. Oh man. <laughs> sorry, <laughs> his name is actually sorry. Sorry. Let's see. I get back there. I basically scored that one because I set up each team there. Up. Wow. Like I drove it into the wall. That was smart of him. Dang. That's pretty bad. Thanks. Y'all played me so hard. Ah, crud. So close. Doesn't matter how I do it, he's always he's got the edge on me. Knows what I'm doing. I don't have any tricks up my sleeves to beat him. It's not yet. Oh my goodness! He even got the contest perfectly for that. That's rough. I can't let this guy just play by himself. 
can't. Oh my god. Can't carry me that much. I am too heavy. Okay. It was okay. Until the end. We got a couple of good. Uh, what do you call it? Got a couple of really good plays. Rough. Another guy AFK. I guess the other guy's AFK. Holy cow, this is a real. Very straight. What do you mean, all yours? What? It makes sense. They both just went for that? What? What? Hello, dude? Hello, me? Hello? Oh my god. That was such a big. If I. I didn't think he was gonna just jump out of the goal. If I knew he was gonna do that, I would not have... Man! Like, I, I hard committed that, because I thought I was jumping out of the goal. Or not jumping out of the goal. What? What kind of defense is that? I see. He He's just, like, moving towards the ball constantly. He's not even really defending. Just going for the ball. Okay. Now we start to see how he plays. Well, that's kind of annoying because basically means there's no defense unless I'm there. 
Oh my god, my shot is ruined. Ow, there. Couldn't even defend... What? Oh. 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 Man. Okay, well. If he keeps that up, I don't think we can do anything. I think he'll be over. It's not even at the net. I mean... Get there. Just go to the net. So I can rotate back around for another shot. Right? That's how it's supposed to work? No? I mean, I guess there will always be players that don't know that much about rotations and how 2v2 play works. 2v2s are very hard. Stan. I feel like I'm, I have a decent grasp of the foundations of 2v2. It's just I'm not that great at like outplaying my opponents, that's about it. I have most of the macro play down. I understand the strategy involved. I just don't have the execution that I would like to have at the level of execution I want to be. This guy going for it or what? I keep hear hearing him doing the boost thing but not actually getting it. What are you doing? What? Hello? Holy cow, my teammate. Get that thing out of there. Alright, so basically, it doesn't matter if my teammate goes for the ball or not. Can't trust him. So. Gosh, dang it. Missing these now. Goodness. Screwed, basically. Get one goal here. Possibly. Hit the ball. He got there first. What? Ah, uh, dude! We're both going for the ball. That's not good. What did I just witness? Goodness. One in every few games. It's probably gonna be like that no matter what, you know? It's always the case. He's at the goal. Alright, at least he's there. Went for high. This other guy. Where was the other guy? What? Was he like at our goal? That doesn't even make sense. That's just greedy as heck if he was. Like, one defending on their team. This could be a pretty easy game. That's the case. Get that there. Hold on. They just forfeited right away. 
Okay. Ah. Uh, I can't play the same way. Got my daily dose of salt, I guess, as always from this game. Goodness. What time is it? All right. Uh, shoot. It's pretty late. I can stay up for another hour. Science. Saya. Uh, crud. I was going to science a couple things. Science, damage, purple. That's what I was going to science. Uh, I'll be right back. I need to take care of one little thing. I'll do some bunnies, bunny game things for the rest of the night. So, probably just for an hour or so, I'm gonna do a couple of things. Um, today I made a couple of observations in regards to certain things, so I want to try and debunk or uncover some things that I'm curious about for this game. Let's go here, actually. Should be fine. Just go here real quick. So, the first thing I want to do is I want to go fight Saya real quick. The biggest reason. What? Whatever. The biggest reason I want to go fight Saya is I want to see. It's possible to climb her pillar, which is an amulet. Her very tall pillar that she creates. Apparently, if you amulet pillars, you go on top of them because you're supposed to be quote unquote standing on them. So, if we can get Saya to use her pillar, what? This file already has cleared pillar? Alright, let's just go here then. Surely I have a file where I did not use pillar. Defeat Pillar. So I need to test this. How did I end up at Rainbow Shop? What? Alright, here we go. So we're gonna give Miss Pillar to do her pillar attack. She should do shortly here, because we died enough very much. Not this. It's just something else. Uh, I did too much damage. 
Can't deal that much damage. Otherwise, she'll just explode. Alright. I'll hold off on the damage for a second. No, not this. Let me see. Okay, so if I do amulet a pillar, though, I do go up. Okay, I'm gonna see if Sai will do her other attack. Not this. Saya, please. Cooperate. No. That's not what you're supposed to do. I mean, I guess. It's kind of a pillar, but not the pillar I was looking for. Hello? Saya, oh my. Will you just... Thank you. Alright. So... Technically, the theory is, if I were to amulet right there instead of getting hit like a dummy, technically, I should be able to climb to the top of this thing. That is the theory. We're going to science. It looks like it's gonna be a little difficult though, so we'll see. I'm just gonna get her to that point where she will do it again. I guess she always does this, this attack sequence or something. No. Alright, Saya, do your thing. Or not. After this, do your thing. No, why? Just do it. Oh my goodness, really? Okay, we're just gonna wait. Eventually. I'm sure she'll do it. There we go. Okay. Aha! Yes! So it, that it does work. So with that in mind, if I were to theoretically... If I were to theoretically need to go up on that pier... That place and I did not have an item to reach said pillar. I can just wait for Saya to use the pillar attack. And from there, get whatever I'm trying to get up there. Oh man, I miss. Except I have to make sure I do it right. Because if I miss, it's gonna fail. All right, the next thing I wanna look at is this purple attack. So, the purple attack is kind of a something a lot of people don't use because of its slow ability. The question is, how does its slow ability... Let's see. So, I think the reason it doesn't work is because I actually have resist to it. But if I take off the resistance, what happens? So theoretically, I get slower, right? So here's the theory. If I were to amulet underneath here... You can see that I am invulnerable for what appears to be at least a good 4 to 5 seconds. When I use an amulet. It's kind of interesting. I do wonder if this has any practical application. So as you can see, it allows us to flow in the air, and it allows us to have a longer invulnerability time. It just doesn't last very long. Now what about the double charge?
I wonder what determines how long it lasts, because if I do manage to amulet in it, it appears to last longer, for whatever reason. Now here's the... here's the question. Will there be any point in the game where I would want to use extreme invulnerability? For example, if I were to just set this up... oh wait. As long as I have this off... Because nothing in the field except for Arena slows down. So the theory here is that as long as we are inside it, we get an extended amount of vulnerability. That's the theory, or the idea. It's kind of interesting to do, and it doesn't seem very difficult to do. What happens if we have this equipped? Or, yeah, increases... I think invincibility... Invincibility after getting hit is even longer. Let's see. Real quick. Quite interesting. It has some properties like that. Kind of, kind of messing around. Kind of interesting to play with. Nothing too crazy, though. I don't think. I do. Oh, I do want to try one thing though. How does it interact with Iris's stuff? Let's say theoretically. I can spam purple, right? And slow myself down. And keep up said de uh slow buff. Or debuff. I guess it's a debuff, really. So it's not supposed to be a good thing. The idea is I apply slow to myself. And then I apply the amulet. How much invulnerability does that give me? There is this actual amulet uses, if any at all. It's kind of interesting to think about. Just how much? That's all I need to know. How long does it give it for, and for what attacks? That's all I want to know. Oh my goodness. Every time! So I'm going to give this a shot real quick.
During the time that Irisu is doing this, I can actually keep spamming Ribbon's attack. So, this is going to be interesting. All I'm going to do is purple shot her, as long as I can. That not work? Oh wait, I have slow resist. I have to remember to turn that off when I do this. Alright, let's try it again. So this begs the question, is it, is it because I'm too close to her? That's what's going on? You try from farther away. As far as away, away as I could be right here. I don't think it works if you're that close to her, huh? Well, on the other side. If I could set up, that would be nice. Interesting. Almost as if it's immune to it or something. I try just amulets normally. See what happens. Yeah, it has to do with being too close to her. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, I got my answers. Pretty satisfied. Damage. Let's talk damage real quick. What I want to do is test out the damage of all the, the boosts. Just to get an idea of where they stand, power-wise. Roughly tested numbers, but I want actual exact numbers because I'm tired of not knowing the exact numbers. So we're gonna find out. Oh, I wish I didn't have buffs. Dang it, why do I have buffs anyway? Let me go to a file that does not have buffs. Hopefully, I can find one. Hope you have buffs. Do you have buffs? Yeah, but this is a loop file. I don't want to do that. How about... Let's see. How could we use this one? No? Maybe? Maybe that one? Or we can just wait out the buffs, I guess. Maybe. We don't want it to wait five minutes, though. Let's do... I guess we'll just do this, it makes no difference, really. Here, why am I here? Is this funny how? Story mode. Oh, this is uh, Aaron at 200%. That's right. So where bosses hurt and stuff. Okay, that's fine. We'll go here and uh, do some testing. So what I do want to do is disable badges for ribbon. 
that affect her damage. We can get some raw numbers to test with. Using the sandbag as the, the damage counter, of course. We'll keep track of any damage applied to it. Get out a sheet real quick. Alright, so here's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna do uh, each type of shot. We're gonna do pew pews, uh, charge, and double charge, and then we're gonna do a full boost. Uh, boost half and boost max, and see if there's any differences. So let's start with this. You need to take off all badges. I'm just gonna take off everything, because I don't need any of this. For this testing. I guess items affected too. We'll just take off everything except for a ribbon. And the shots, of course. Just to make sure nothing affects it. Nothing should affect it, but, you know. Yeah. Let's go do that. Cool. Alright. Okay, save. What? Hello? Hello? Ribbon? What? Why did Ribbon stop working? I think I needed something. Uh, I remember we had to equip something to make Ribbon work. I forget. Gosh darn it, Ribbon. One of these, I guess? I don't remember which one. Okay, now she's working. This stuff is fine. This doesn't matter. Okay. and not working. What? That doesn't make sense. Why do I have to hit it with blue shot to start it? Makes no sense. Aw, uh, not the... Man, I have to do everything I just did again, all because I autosaved. Whoops. Not mean to do that. Or auto load. Auto save load. Quick load. Goodness. That's so dumb. Why doesn't this start it? Oh, it has to be like an actual bullet, I guess. Apparently, the beam does not count. Okay. But whatever the case may be, honestly. We can just subtract 50 damage. Get our actual damage. Just ribbon things, right? Oh, Cyberflower, I guess. 
I want to know how our end game behavior works. Just chill. Trading high. This thing shoots out a surprising number of bullets. Same as purple. It's actually a little higher than purple. Did pretty low. Then rainbow. Rainbow is higher than carrot. What? Well done. I'll be darned. Gotta do just standard charge shots.
243 to that because I missed a charge. Six eight one. Two hundred because I missed one. And rainbow. Well, rainbow is not <laughs> spammable, so uh Yeah, we'll get another one with enough regen. So we'll see how much DPS it's compared to other things. I don't think it's gonna get one more recharge by the end of this. Oh maybe? if spammed. Okay. Double charge. Be slowed. Gosh darn it. Turn that back on. So we know slowness. spam. Okay. 
Anyway. I think green's the only one where the damage is higher, purely double charging. Double charge takes too long. One, two, five. Okay. Urban badge spam. I'll do it starting from a double charge. Because that's traditionally what you start with most of the time. I think we want more mana. Alright. Let's get more mana. See the damage starts to fizzle. Yeah, it keeps <laughs> going up until the end of it. I guess we can keep shooting until that's over. Just to be fair. Don't mess things up. Oh yeah, I was supposed to keep going. I think the rank is screwing this up though. Oh wait, the rank resets though, right? Yeah. Rank resets. <laughs> I 
just falls off and does no damage after a while. 401. That's fair. Red. Red is like my most controversial one. I'm trying to resolve or figure out. Cow, if you just let that stack, it skyrockets. It's actually insane. This one's gonna do no damage. Rainbow is just rainbow. It's the same thing as before. Okay, so that leaves the boosts. So what I'm gonna do is... Hmm, how should I do this? This is a max boost. Alright, I guess we're just gonna wait for this to finish. And then, we're gonna do another test, which is half, or whatever, not max. Because it's not gonna be max, technically, if we start it like that. Because I don't think Max makes a difference. But I could be wrong. Kinda looks like it does. 4799, it ended earlier, and... The amount of damage dealt was like half. Alright, so now we're back to Max, yep. So we're gonna do this again, but with yellow. I guess with Max, there's two hits instead of just one. I never actually noticed that before. It's kind of interesting. Eight, nine, six, zero. That was higher than I expected, to be honest. Uh, I'll do it again. Without Max. Oh wait, this is still Max, hold on. We're gonna take off Max Bracelet. Go away! No Max Bracelet, alright. We'll do another one, without it. I guess it still does two hits. But it's not Max anymore. I guess now that I know it's max just consumes more MP. Is that all it is? It looks like that's all it is. Just consumes more mana, which means overall you get less attacks in. 6243. Okay. I'm gonna do all the not max boosts first. We'll go from there. 
But, oh my god, it doesn't even work unless I reset, duh. Alright, here we go. By itself, I think purple is very weak. Pretty low. 3184. Then we go for max. Actually, we're not gonna do maxes yet. We'll just go through all these. Green. Green is gonna be like nothing. I think that's all the non-max is, it just consumes less mana, which might be useful to know in the future, or it consumes more mana at a time, and that's how it balances itself or keeps itself in check. Dang, you ran out of mana fast. Red is mana hungry. No wonder it feels like it's not impactful, it just doesn't last as long. Oddly enough. Even this thing's gonna do a little more damage than red does. Just cause it has more mana to use. I still don't remember Rainbow ever dealing damage, but apparently it does now. So we have to te- what? Oh my god, it doesn't even work. Let's say. Pew! Alright. That works. Mana Drain is intense on that, though. 864? It's like nothing. Now we're gonna do max boosts and see what the difference is. I already got max boosts for a couple of them. I'm for purple. I didn't think about that. The max boost. The mana lasts a lot longer. So, maybe we can draw the conclusion that if you want to maximize damage, you go for max boost. So the faster you get to max boost, the higher your damage output will be. Four, five. 
Yeah, red is just awful because it just consumes so much mana. Even in max, just eats mana. Literally had the same damage output between max and half boost for red. And it's not even the strongest at half boost either. So, yeah, the, the boost is terrible. The attack, though, is really good. The actual red attack is very powerful, but the red boost is terrible. Very terrible. So this is interesting then. Well, I'm gonna keep going, and I'll draw conclusions once we're done with the tests. Six one six six. Actually, that was pretty high up there compared to the other ones. I right, and them rainbow. Oh, not again. So with max boost, it is doing... it is lasting a lot longer. But it still drains really fast. You can see it barely does any damage. Alright. So that's everything I want to test. So now we can actually take a look at the numbers. Alright, so... Let me pull this up on the stream, I guess. These are the results of all the tests I just did. You can see here. We'll look for any information we want regarding all the shots. Over a 20 second interval of just purely using that type of shot or in that type of method. So. I kind of want to sort this. Alright, that works. Okay, so... Built to, can't I just sort by... I guess, okay. So, every single regular shot category, red was the clear winner. But in terms of boost, at max boost, blue was the best. At half boost, yellow was, surprisingly. However, blue was second. What this does show me is that if you're going to spam attacks, though, with ribbon, red just destroys, absolutely demolishes. But when we're talking about boost, red 
it's not even a competitor. It's almost the lowest. Which is... I wasn't expecting the normal shot to be so good. I was expecting the boost to be terrible, though, because it was pretty clear that it doesn't do damage whatsoever. But this, literally doing this, is ridiculous. It builds up so much combo so fast. Just the amount of ticks in this is massive. So, with this, uh, knowledge, it does beg the question of what is more efficient? Because this was over the same period of time. So, well, actually the boosts were longer. But if you can do this much damage in that amount of time, Compared to this damage, why would you ever boost? Even just spamming regular charge shots, red comes out ahead. For some reason, double charge does like nothing. I'm. Kind of surprised double does not do a lot more. I mean, relative it kind of does, but um, double charge almost doesn't matter. Single or double. I mean, obviously all these numbers are lower because you have to charge it longer, but I was expecting red to be a lot higher if it was, this was the case. Even just charging red bullets constantly, it out DPSs. A max boost blue with all of its bullets. So this begs the question of what, why would you use boost in the first place? And so what I will say is this. This kind of draws the conclusion that you want to use boost for its utility. Blue provides defense, yellow provides I don't even know what yellow provides, honestly. Yellow provides a ta- Wait, attack up? Really? That's... interesting. But so does red. Hold on. I did not think about yellow providing attack up before. So red provides attack up, and yellow provides attack up. If yellow boot- if you're going in for a major attack, and you activate yellow boost, then you technically get a pretty dang good deal out of it, because Erina's damage is boosted. Right? Like, I almost beat my high score without even using it. Oh, actually, Ribbon's gonna beat it right here. Like, if your target is just chilling, you're gonna use Hammer a lot. Yellow is the way to go, not red. It is the clearly superior boost. Because red boost is terrible, and if it provides the same bonus as red, there's no reason to use red boost ever. I guess the only thing is bosses move around a lot, which is why yellow boost must be so strong. But even if only half the hits hit, 
It's basically as strong as red. Blue is more guaranteed hits, so I guess on average, blue technically will match up with damage compared to yellow. But blue will always hit. I think that's the thing. Blue always hits. Purple provides curse. Yellow pro or green provides healing. Orange provides stamina. Or SP recovery, I guess. Rainbow provides bunny lover. Hmm. So maybe, in the future, if we are just chilling and doing damage, we could do this. And then if we're using hammer, we switch to yellow. Start doing stuff that way. 